Welcome everybody to our show. This is Custom Fab Garage on our channel Octane TV on YouTube. Make sure you go down below and hit that subscribe button. And on top of that, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you can get all the new content that comes out weekly and even every day. This is the actual Bronco we're gonna be working on next. Outer Banks edition, new speakers, new sub. We'll be doing all new speakers, dash speakers, kick pan speakers, rear speakers, and adding a subwoofer. going to do next is we're going to pop this piece up here pop this piece up here and then we're going to get this kick panel off now i got the passenger side one off with just my hands yeah just like that i just pulled up on it i'm being gentle i'm not putting a whole lot of hercules into this so yeah see i'm barely just pulling on this and then there's your pull pieces on the back i would not put a lot of effort or force into ripping that up so be careful when you do that now this one we're gonna take our plastic pry tool and right in here, we're gonna take this out because this, this is like a false panel right here so we can get behind that. Okay, so what we did was we put the pick tool up underneath there and pulled out on each part. Um, this could not get into that crack, so there's that piece off and there's what it looks like behind. And then inside, down in that hole, it appears that we have like an eight or a 10 down there. Um, and there's another one right there in the top. So eight or a 10. Probably gonna have to be a deep well because that bolt's sticking out. That bolt's sticking out super far. Just to let you know, it is a 10 millimeter and you will need a deep, deep socket with extension. Luckily, I've got these cobalt ones that are hollow, but it's pretty deep there, but extremely deep here. We're gonna pull this out right here just so it's out of the way so we can move this back here, this part back here. We're gonna pull this out. Some people have to pull this grill out, some people don't. So I'm gonna try to pull it out. If not, I'll pull the grill out. We got it out. This piece started to come apart anyway, so we just ended up pulling it off. It just got clips on the back of it and it unslides right there. So we, that makes it easier to get it out as well. Don't forget you'll drop these bolts when you pull this out. So you gotta be real careful of that. And then there is the factory golden speaker. And that's what we're gonna take out right now. And then you have three seven millimeters to take out to get this out. Factory speaker is out there's your plug and your three bolts one two three and this is what you're left with right here and you got your plug right here i'm gonna put some dynamat back there so we can bolt this in these are the speaker adapter plates you're going to use which is an 825605 ford multi-plate they also make generic versions that we'll put down in the description below so there's multiple people that make these um, they all work pretty good i've used all of them so we're going to put these here and then use a new six and a half to go into this and then we'll have to drill a hole so the speaker wire can come through and this is the factory and it's got a pretty beefy magnet on it so we're gonna have to put some good speakers in here reproduce some good bass we're also going to dynamat and everything else to make it look nice and sound nice so there was no rattling and kind of keep it enclosed all right so here's the adapter right here here's the speaker this is what it looks like when it comes out of the package for the 825605s. so what you'll do is you'll take your pliers and you'll just kind of click on here and then you'll just bend it just a little bit it's hard to do this and film at the same time click it and it will just break right off right there and then you'll have these because they won't fit with these because they're made for five and a quarters and then the speaker will fit right down in there the speaker adapter harnesses we're going to use which is a 725602 this is what we're going to plug into the speaker and then plug into the factory harness So here is both of them mounted in there. Here is the back side. Just connects right into the speaker. And then you'll have your plug coming right out on both. That way we can just plug and play. Basically you're gonna bolt just like factory. And then everything will work just like the factory speaker did. So here's the factory speaker. Everything's gonna go right, right in just like it. We are gonna dynamat as well. We're gonna put some dynamat around everything. That way it's nice and secure in there.